Hey, it's Ben from Snowboard Gamer. Today I'm going to be doing some sample gameplay and a review for the game Mech vs. Minions, made by the company that did the popular video game League of Legends. And this is their first time venturing into the world of board games. My son loves League of Legends and heard about this game coming out and really wanted it for Christmas. So I got in there and ordered it and was lucky enough to get in wave one, which arrived just before Christmas. I wanted to wait to do a review though until we've played it quite a few times. First impressions of the game, it's heavy and it's big. I got my bathroom scale here. Let's see how much it weighs. Whoa. 12.7 pounds. This thing is a beast. In comparison, I've got Ticket to Ride here. And for size, you can see it dwarfs in comparison to Mechverse Minions. This thing is just massive. It's almost, almost exactly double the length. One and a half to one and three quarters the height. About a, an inch and a half or two inches longer than Ticket to Ride. Mechverse Minions is a co-op game where each of you control a robot. Two to four players and each robot is a very detailed miniature of various guys with different abilities. And you work together to help clear the minions off of the board. In some missions, you fight a big boss character, which is this guy here. He is just giant. The game comes with its own storage, it has multiple plastic trays with all the minions inside of it, some very nice heavy duty metal gears and tokens. Looks like an eight sided die, maybe a 12 sided die. One of the cool things about Mechverse Minions is that it has a ton of replayability. It comes with 10 different missions. You start with the tutorial and then you move on to mission one, mission two, mission three, and you might think, well, okay, I get 10 gameplays out of it. No, you can replay these missions over and over and every time you play it, it's different. The board starts off as this little teeny board and it can get huge with its modular with all these different pieces that go together. We've now been through four of the 10 missions. So we've got a pretty good feel for the game. We're playing Mech vs. Minions. I got it for Travis, my son, uh, for Christmas. And we're doing the tutorial. This game is very different than any other board game I've played. You essentially draft cards and build, that's what you put in front of you right here. And then you build these actions to move, turn, attack and then you execute them all in order for my turn right here my first card lets me move forward one space so i move forward one space my second card forces you to turn 90 degrees okay. either way my next card is move forward two to four spaces so one two my next card is move one space forward or to either side so i can move here and then my last is an attack and i can attack a target in a three by three square around me so i can attack this and take it out sweet We've now taken out most of the minions in the tutorial. We've got two left here. My command line here. So my guy, he moves forward one space because it's level one. Okay. Then my scythe, I turn 90, and then I do one damage to a target within a three by three square, so I kill this guy and take him out. And then I've got like more stuff. This one moves me forward. This one lets me move that way. That one lets me attack again, and then I move that way again. But we got all the minions killed. Three. So there's some sample gameplay of Mech vs. Minions. I highly recommend this game. If you're wondering if it's worth the $75 price tag, it totally is. The amount of stuff that comes in this box is just insane. Um, four plastic trays worth, tons of cards, miniatures, all these missions, and it has such a unique gameplay. It's unlike anything else that I've ever played. This has been a sample gameplay and review on Snowboard Gamer of Mech vs. Minions. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.